So as you may know, I'm a teenager still, well, of course, and I still attend school. I'm not a dropout. But our school, which is Robert Service School in Dawson City, Yukon, I don't care if you know where I live at all, <laughs> hopefully don't rate me, but we've been having problems. Now, in this video, I won't be mentioning names, but I will be mentioning people's positions as staff at our school, so principal will be known as principal. This is a video about what's going on at the school that I want to tell people about because I want to get awareness out to the school and hopefully get the school board to see this. So our school has been having a quote-unquote drug problem. And they've been trying to fix this through a series of drug talks and crackdowns. Now some of these crackdowns are pretty insane in school standards. On the subject, I'm not saying any of this is right or wrong. I'm just here to tell you what the school is doing. So, I have a list on my iPod here of things to go through, and I'm going to start with the one that I have listed at the top, which is the most major. Our principal is female, and if you're watching this, good for you. You found my channel. You should like this video. But, she went into the male's bathroom and on multiple occasions and said, can I help you? First one. Our principal goes into our bathroom. Our male bathroom. She goes into our male bathroom. If you think about it, if a male principal went into a female's bathroom, uh, there'd be whole hell to lose. Like, it, 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 like everybody would go crazy. That principal wouldn't even be a principal anymore. But because she's female, it's all right. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, if there's no male staff, yeah, get somebody, but but make sure it's totally all right. We have we have quite a few male staff. A few being. Educational assistants, I believe, your EAs, and they're usually always able to come help. We were being escorted at one time to the bathroom because of a tobacco um, snorting problem. They would snort snuff, and our school went hi ho, let's put all our resources into that, saying no, don't do that. Being escorted into the bathroom, and it was insane. I don't believe in group punishment, which is when, let's say, one person makes trouble in class and then the whole class has to stay behind. I don't believe in that. So why was everybody else being punished for the snuff problem even though not a lot of people were doing it? It was huge. It, it was huge in a small group, but not everybody else was doing it, so everybody was punished. <laughs> yeah, that's how society should work, eh? So we have the male staff to go into the bathrooms and help and see if these people are doing it, but why wasn't that used? Why did we have a woman principal go in the bathroom? Slander. The act or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging a person's reputation. Just got that dictionary definition. Our school has been committing said slander in their own way. They have been taking people aside, kids in high school, calling them drug dealers. Now, it's a small town. It's 1,500 people in this town. What happens is that when they, when somebody finds out that a kid has been called a drug dealer, they'll tell other friends, who then might tell their parents, who might tell other parents, and then reputations are ruined, which is literally what slander is. And you can sue people in real, in real life. I'm saying real life as in um, adult world, like when everybody's an adult. But we can't do anything. Who are we supposed to talk to? The school board? We've gone to school board for other things. It doesn't work. And with the said slander, which is the closest thing I can approximate it to, is they don't tell the parents. They literally pull them aside saying, are you drug dealing? Oh, no, you're a drug dealer now. You're literally known as a drug dealer. Your reputation is just ruined. Also, some people's got their locker searched, which is actually the next topic. Locker searches. Totally all right in school. There's acts saying that you can do it. But... We were never told of that. I had to actually go to the principal and say, can we have this act? We got it. And yeah, they did all the searches by the book for lockers. We still don't have, have written permission, well, an act saying that they can search bags inside the school and also coats, but that's different. But we haven't got anything saying that, like, please need a warrant or something. But the school can just do it because the school can just do it. Principal says she's trying to protect us. Is she really? And she even went to say that she had the right to search cell phones. She literally said, I can search your cell phones. She later took that back, but the fact is she still said it. 
So does she know she has these rights to search these things, or does she just say willy-nilly stuff? This is the first year of this woman being principal. She's, um, older. But, it was, her school was pretty fine before this. It was better than it is now. This year, there's been unnecessary suspensions in the eyes of some people. And also, we're having a drug awareness month right now. Which is their, their way of saying, don't do heroin, don't do cocaine, don't do meth, don't do this. Uh. But the main problem in our school isn't in those hardcore drugs, it's in snuff and weed. They got this cocaine idea from some weird source saying that somebody was doing cocaine. I've never heard of anybody doing cocaine in this school. So tell me, are you telling the truth or are you just pulling stuff out of your, you know what, just to make it right and spend all this money? on bringing people up and getting people to talk about it. Actually, let's change that, because it's probably voluntary. People probably come and talk about their stories for free. But another thing is that a video was posted on Facebook that was about a fight club. Well, school calls it a fight club. It was pretty much organized boxing lead in the back of the school, not back of the school, it's in a hallway. And the school got really pissy about this. They went and sent a letter saying this had been posted on YouTube. YouTube and Facebook, two different services, one social network website, which you can limit the, the people who can see it. Your friends and your family can see it, and I don't think anybody's just going to go look for a Fight Club video on Facebook. Well, on YouTube, it's completely different. It's worldwide if you set it to the public. And they went and claimed it was on YouTube. They just didn't want to say that they were stalking us. And that video was removed. But they sent home a letter to every person. Why couldn't they have just dealt this internally and told the parents of the people involved? They, you could see who was in the video, it wasn't that hard, you could see who posted the video, but why couldn't it have done internally? Why did it have to go out to every person? And lots of parents are mad. Many parents have gone to our principal and said, why the hell are you doing this? Many people have gone and told her that searching people is wrong. So I just wanted to make this video about this and say, our school is messed up right now, and it's hopefully going to change, but we can't really change unless somebody steps up, and I'm kind of stepping up to do this right now. So I want you to like and share this video so we can get it to more people, and it would be the best thing in the world if we could get this out to more people and more people see this to tell the problem. This isn't as bad as schools in Whitehorse had, one school in Whitehorse had last year where they wouldn't um, allow gay students, but... This is our own little problem, and this is something for a rural school to have, and I don't know how much we can change it, but hopefully we can. Nobody really likes our principal. Sorry if you're watching. It's true, though. Hope you have a good day, good evening, good morning. Whenever you're watching this, hopefully you're watching this, or hopefully I just didn't make this video for good or for evil. But I just want you guys to think about this and... Tell us in the comments, like, your own stories, and if you want to, or share this video. I'm really trying to say share this, because if this gets around, I think things will may be changed. And <laughs> hopefully they're stalking our Facebooks enough to see this is coming out. Hmm. See you in a little while, school board. Don't suspend me. I'm just telling you guys. Didn't say any names. Just telling people what's wrong.